So we completed our first God Wars boss, which was Saradomin. That was a rough grind because it took us like 640 kills to get our last item, which was the crossbow. We got a lot of points for that, for Dragon Rank, and we got a ton of ammo for the blowpipe, which will probably last us all of the leaks. So that's amazing. Now, the next God Wars boss is going to be really good as well because we can get some nice armor from Kriara, Armadale boss. The armor is the most accurate armor in the entire game for range. So when accuracy is needed and I'm using like a blowpipe or Darbo, it's going to be really good. So for example, at Bandos and even Zami, I think Armadale will actually have some good uses as a switch for like dark bows and stuff. So we're going to do Armadale next since it's the most logical step for me. As always, if you are looking for more progress videos for Trailblazer, continue liking the video and let me know. Also consider subscribing and ring the bell so that way when I put out a new video, you will be notified immediately. So this is very uncharted territory since I never spammed the boss with a blowpipe or a crystal bow. So I had to try a bit of everything to figure out what worked best. So blowpipe was the first choice of course. But honestly, I found the crystal bow to be better because the blowpipe missed a lot and you had to stand still. Which means you can't go under the boss or you lose DPS but you take a lot of damage if the kills go slow with the blowpipe but the crystal bow though is so much more consistent super high accuracy what the crystal armor penetrates the boss's defense much more consistent kills and i can also do the two to one strat which means that for every two of my hits i can go under the boss and make him only do one hit back to me and yeah that was amazing because i just took way less damage that way and the kills were super consistent and fast and chill here is a demonstration of the 2 to 1. It's really simple. I do two crystal bow hits. The boss only hits me one time. I go under the boss and then I attack the boss again and do two hits and repeat the process. This way, he attacks me a lot less and I take way less damage. And I carried a bit of the same strat that I did for Sarah into Armadale and probably for the rest of the Gobbler's bosses, which is start off the fight with a bone crossbow spec for pretty much guaranteed defense reduction and damage, and then open with four dark bolt specs, and usually that'll get the boss to over half his HP gone. Oh damn, the Debo's just gonna one-shot it? It was close. That was crazy. Debo. Oh! Oh, wow, look at that, boys. Hell yeah, let's go, man. Uh, I, I was hoping the RNG is gonna start pulling through. And it did, and we also get a task done, don't we? Hell yeah, dude. Nice, okay, well, we can ditch the Armadale Chaps now. Because we got this as our uh, upgrade, so. Haha, <laughs> very nice, we got our first Armadale drop. We need three more uniques, and then we're done with the uh, armadillo. Oh, helmets! Oh my god, dude, this is insane! I can't believe this, bro. 55 KC, already got another uh, drop. Ah, now I know what it feels like to see all these other guys getting uh, all these God Wars uniques left and right, you know? Oh my god, another chain skirt, holy shit. Oh, okay, well, that's awesome, man. Damn, Armadale. <laughs> Armadale's chilling, man. <gasps> oh my god, no way. That's insane. I actually completed the freaking armor, armor set in 78 KC. Oh my god, it, it is my turn. It is my turn for the spoon. In fact, not just a spoon, a freaking ladle. A freaking ladle, bro. I am guzzling the... Uh, RNG soup, you know, off my big ass ladle, dude. Oh, yeah, that's awesome, man. <laughs> wow, I can't believe this. We only need to get the hilts and we're we're done with Armadale. That's actually insane. Like, this is actually really good. The Debo is going to be a bit better going forward. And same with the blowpipe, you know. Because what's the accuracy difference? 148 and 156. So, yeah, it's a more accurate. So, Debo's are going to be a bit more accurate on the spec. Ally God Wars especially. Blowpipe, you know, a bit more accurate. So, a different form of best in slot. So, that's awesome, man. Now, when I start off my arm though, I will have full armor equipped. So, I can do my bone crossbow spec into the more accurate 4 Debo specs. Which means the boss will die a bit quicker than before. 
Yeah, it's nice to know my Debo can be improved even further. Honestly. Improved even further, boys. Oh my god, dude. Dude. <laughs> oh, what is that? 45, 46. Okay, that was basically close to max. I think it's 46, 46. Damn, I took zero damage that kill. That was amazing. I wish that was a task, you know, for 500. Oh, I got it! <laughs> I finished Armadale! Oh my god, dude. What the hell? I actually finished Armadale, dude. What? That's crazy, man. I mean, Armadale was getting hella easy anyways, but damn, son. Wow, that's crazy. Two days to finish armor versus like a week to finish Sarah. Like, what the hell? Honestly, barely even two days, you know? I just started my second day of grinding this. Alright, here we go. Armado Godsword made. Come on. One shot. Fan service. Here we go. Oh, yes! Oh my god, finally, guys. Holy shit. The Elven Signet. <laughs> Holy crap, it's over. It's over, it's over. I haven't really been talking about this ring for a while because um, I just didn't know when it was going to come, but... It's here. Elven Signet. Oh, not just for points, guys. It's actually pretty cool. But let me let me show you guys how messed up this RNG was to get this goddamn thing. I don't even know how many exact. <gasps> wow, 176. Oh my god. I went over 4x the rate for this. It's like a 1 in 40 in this game mode. For my Crystal Bowman build, especially because I don't have stuff like Archer's Ring, this is my best ring. Because the Elvis Signet has this ability where if crystal items were to use a charge, there's a 10% chance that it won't use a charge. So crystal armor, crystal bow, there's a 10% chance that I won't use a charge. So overall, I'm going to use 10% less charges on every piece of these equipment. It's going to be really nice, especially for the armor stuff because these do require shards. And I don't really ever want to have to worry about like, having to go back for shards or anything. So this will help prolong it and whatnot. So yeah, hell yeah, man. Looking forward to using this from now on for the rest of this league. Good stuff, good stuff. Unfortunately, I don't have a tracker of all the stuff that I got from the Crystal Implings, but a decent amount of rune darts from them. And probably the most noticeable drop is the Baby Dragon Bones. All right, so here's the setup for Bandos. Of course, subject to change, but it worked really well at Armadale, so I'm assuming I can kind of brute force it just like Arma. It has even less defense than Armadale, so it should work out even better. Now that we are already done with Arma, man, what a grind, right? Nah, just kidding. That shit was so fast. But it's time to do Bandos because the armor is so good. Honestly, the BGS is probably pretty good too. But yeah, the armor though, I plan on using that to train my 25 million melees and also for nightmare in the future so lots of really good things to come from full bando so we got to hit that up for sure so bandos though uh strategy wise it's very similar of course to the other two god wars bosses i already did however after doing bandos for a bit i can tell you for sure that bandos is definitely harder than armadillo and sarah as a ranger because he will spam you with those range attacks once in a while, and it hurts. You're pretty much going to take the hit every single time. And yeah, man, I've come to situations where I almost got stacked out at like 60, 70 HP, so you got to be really careful. But other than that, it does die pretty quick overall, but some kills, you got to be ready to combo eat because it will kill you. Because of the nature of how Bandos can combo you for a lot of damage, I just learned to bring combo food and just eat at low HP, and I haven't died since. Oh, Bandos Hill! Oh my god, yay! Instantly out of tilt, boys. Bandos Hill, first drop, let's go. RNG is back. RNG is back, baby. Oh shit, another Bandos Hill. Okay. So I've developed a really fun and consistent way to kill Bandos. And again, I'm not going to say this is the best method or anything. It's just the method that works for me. You can probably just blow pipe the boss down and just standing still. That probably works too. But anyways, the strat is a bit complicated after the Bone Crossbow and Debo. Because after that point, I'm going to reach 
the corner and the boss is gonna be on me. But I've set it up so that the mage minion always attacks first and then the ranged minion attacks right after, followed by the melee minion. And yeah, I do some uh, little sweaty flicking. I'm not gonna explain it. You can just see how it works. But yeah, I do that every single time and it just works. A uh, bit overkill, but definitely saves me the uh, saves me on some food. But honestly, <gasps> oh, Venus boots! Yay! Nice. That's perfect. That's honestly so good. Oh, yay! No more getting hit a twenty before I go into the bandos room. Let's go. <laughs> oh, tacits! Oh my god! Yo, my god! The items are coming in, dude. Yes, the God Wars RNG is on fire right now. Let's go, dude. Oh my god, Tacit again, dude. Oh. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Alright, let me go ahead and put the Bendo Silts into the coffer just because, yeah, it'll save me some GP from when I die, so. Yep, let's go. Might as well. Now I got 9 mil there. I can die like, I don't know, tens of times. No problem. Let me update you guys on Bandos as well. 346 kills. We are still missing the Bandos chest plate. I just hope this isn't one of those Sarah God Wars grinds, man, because I really want this full Bandos. <laughs> Trying to get it before 500. So I brought the BGS with me to TOB to test it out a bit to compare how effective it was as a ranger over a bone crossbow. And this time was really good setup because I was the only person with weapon specialist. So that means the other two teammates could not spec to reduce defense as often. So BGS does have a higher defense reduction capability. And actually, even as a ranger, it works really well. I actually find it a bit more effective than the Bone Crossbow even. So I guess I'll be using BGS over Bone Crossbow at TOB. Oh, wow, I just hit it 79. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, definitely. Definitely worth bringing here. Oh, that's why it's uh, split XP, even though I have it set to group. It's because I recently just hit 200 mil uh, range XP. Cool, I guess I'm locked in into the high scores for that. Oh, what? I got personal best with steel darts. Oh, another PB? <laughs> I don't even know, honestly. I don't even know, man. Oh, new PB. Hey, nice. 15 jazz completed. And to know that, yeah, I have to do another 15. <laughs> the next big point grind I want to do is going to be a giant mole. There is a... About close to a thousand points from doing 750 mo and turning in a hundred of the claws. And yeah, it's gonna take probably less than 10 hours. So pretty damn worth it. Try to get it done in a few days. What? Bro, no way. I got the pets in the leagues. Oh no. I don't have this pet in the main game. What? Um, okay. Oh man, that is awkward, dude. Never would have thought that I would get this pet, honestly, in leagues of all games. <laughs> oh shit. Nice, man. Dang, I wasn't paying attention, but we did it. 25 mil mining. Well, it looks like there's not much of a reason for me to be here anymore, huh? Uh, but... I believe we easily banked 99 runecrafting because I asked my friend, he said he only needed around 30,000 day alt shards to get 99 and I have 30,000 and more. I have 30,000 on top of the 13, so yeah, this is more than enough. So today we made some good progress at the giant mole, did the 250 kales, now we have 570 left. And uh, also, we're going to cash in some old claws, so that way we can get another task done. Look at that, though. We're over 40,000 points. In terms of skill total, 2,100 total. But it's looking like we're probably going to have to max because the projected rate's looking 50,000. And yeah, maxing is probably going to be a big factor in that. So 177 levels to go. Forgot to mention, I also hit the 25 mil Slayer task. For 250 points, working on the uh, 30 KC Jatas. 
So today's my day off yet again from streaming, so I'm gonna do a lot of boring stuff to get a lot of good points. I want to get to top 1000, so that way I can't get sniped when servers close. There's around 2500 to 2600 spots for Dragon Rank right now. So yeah, top 1000 will be super comfy. So the first thing I'm doing is getting 99 fishing for 250 points. And then with the Karen Bonds, I'm gonna go and cook it for 25 mil cooking for another 250. And yeah, I'm just gonna do a bunch of other easy tasks I forgot to do. So let's see how many points I end up getting by the end of today. I'm definitely gonna get 80 thieving before I do this Rogue's Den task because oh my god. The normal route is atrocious. It is insanely terribly slow. So, all right. So I was testing to see if this trick still works and it seems to still work. So um, there's this counterclockwise trick. So once you start successfully cracking the wall safe, all you gotta do is the next time you make it here, go to the counterclockwise wall safe. So the last time I opened this one, right? So I went this way, right? And all these were rogues kits, uh, the, the chest. So this last one should also be a success. Hey, it was, see? So I did almost all the fast tasks that I could possibly do and that got me all the way to 41,480, which is really good because at the time of making this video, the dragon rank minimum is around, I'd say 40,500. So I'm like a thousand points deep now. So that's really good. We are. Definitely a lot cozy. I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and probably will still be in Dragon Ring. So yeah, the road to top 1000 commences. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you found this video to be enjoyable, consider giving it a like. We also have a friends chat. Feel free to join that if you wanna hang out. And also consider subscribing and ringing the bell. That way you will get all video notifications. And if you have Amazon Prime, feel free to subscribe on twitch.tv slash ricecup and you can financially support me for free through Amazon Prime. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you guys later.